Do you consider yourself a confident man? Really? Hmm. Okay. Because I have some fragrances on this list that are going to test that. They may not be what you think. So I do have to apologize because the thumbnail could have been a little bit misleading. I was actually going to do this video based on 10 fragrances that I considered to be very challenging and daring and dark and brash and just in your face stuff. I feel like I've been talking about those fragrances a lot lately. So I decided to do a very, very last minute switch right before turning on the camera here. So instead, we're talking about 10 fragrances that a lot of men might find a little feminine. These are all technically unisex fragrances though. Some of them leaning feminine by a little bit, varying degrees here. But when worn confidently, will definitely enhance your appeal and your presence in a room. If you're looking to be appealing to women as a man, these will help you again in the right occasions when worn correctly. We'll be talking about it along the way. So let's jump right into it. These are in no particular order, but this first one up here is coming from Maison Francis Kirkjohn. This is called Aqua Celestia. This is a very pretty fragrance. There's something soft and white about it. It does smell also quite green though. There's mint, there's lime, so it's very fresh. There's even a little bit of black currant which brings this kind of bittersweet or tart kind of juicy mouth-watering feel to it. But it's quite floral. You also have a lot of mimosa in here and it does drive down to a very soft white musk. I feel like this is a fragrance that goes perfectly in bright colors but mainly like white or a light gray or something like that. And when worn during the daytime, fairly casually. It smells simply clean and inviting. It does not smell manly fresh, like you're fresh out of the shower, like that shower gel, spicy, fresh vibe, not at all. Much softer than that, but beautiful and very good quality. Aqua Celestia from Maison Francis Kirkjohn. From Memo with notes of jasmine and milk, lots of neroli and orange blossoms. So it does have this white floral, almost powdery, thick vibe to it. And even some vanilla as well, or like a marshmallowy feel. This is called Sintra. Soft, white, fluffy, creamy, sweet, milky, but powerful. This is a strong scent. It is very dense. It is so beautiful, it is transportive. It is mouth-watering. Like literally, I want marshmallows now. It smells incredible. It smells great on a woman for sure, but a confident guy, you could totally wear this. I would definitely wear a suit with this fragrance and I definitely would not spray too much. Get a sample of this one. That's Sintra from Memo. Up next, we have another pretty sweet fragrance. Wow. This is coming from a Swedish brand called Sweet Oft. I haven't talked about them on the channel in a while. This is one of their newer fragrances called Sweden. A unique fragrance. Very sweet, kind of delectable, kind of gourmand smelling. You have caramel and raspberry coming together to make this very succulent, sweet accord. It is a little bit fresh and spicy as well, so it's not too dense. But you do have some very elegant dry woods in the background, almost an oud feel, kind of holding things together and giving it some foundation so it's not just sweet, creamy. Gourmand. It is kind of intoxicating. It's addictive. Really beautiful. But you have to like sweet. This is, I think, nighttime when it's not terribly hot. Again, don't wear too much. This could easily be even a club scent, honestly. It has a little bit more of an upscale feel than something like Eros, but this is not a formal fragrance by any means. Check out Sweden. Coming from Juliet Has a Gun, a gorgeous fragrance to wear in the summertime, which is very strange because this is a vanilla based fragrance and it's quite sweet, but it's created to work. Vanilla vibes. This is salty, almost minerally sweet, creamy vanilla, but it has a dry, arid freshness. So there's an open quality to it. So it's not so dense and like vanilla cream. No, not at all. You also have this orchid accord, which almost brings a suntan kind of coconut feel and it works perfectly out in the sun and the heat to the beach. You could also wear it on a summer night on a casual night out. Again, don't spray too much. It is pretty strong, but there's something kind of sexy about it. Something very alluring about it. Beautiful fragrance. 
great for the summer. That is Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. If you are a fan of Gallagher Fragrance's Rosé All Day, then you'll probably like this one as well. But this is a different personality based on that DNA. This is coming from his other brand with his wife that they call Pearlescent Parfums, and this is called Midnight Jasmine. You take that same profile, like that apple crisp and that kind of cinnamony, spicy, warm, sweet, almost like a pie feeling, but you throw some slightly creamy, soft jasmine in there, which changes the texture gives it a little bit more of an elegant feel, a little bit less of a gourmand feel, I would say. Also quite potent. We're seeing a theme here. Not the most feminine. I would say this is pretty safe for most guys, but you have to like sweet, warm, spicy with a little bit of a soft floral. But it's really well balanced and it is quite wonderful. That is Midnight Jasmine. Coming from one of my favorite houses, Cartier, and they have a line that they call the Rivieras Collection. There's three fragrances in it so far. I have all three. They're all wonderful. One of them is my favorite, which happens to be the one that is the most masculine. That's called Luxuriance. But even then, it's quite unisex, just relatively speaking. This one is called Insouciance. This is a very simple fragrance, like all of the fragrances in this collection. This is primarily sweet violet with a little bit of a powdery iris some fruits and very light woods that's mostly what you get it's sweet floral but fresh all at the same time does not smell too lipsticky or anything like that you mostly get the violet which is kind of a candied floral feel but it is quite fresh and transparent almost a little bit watery as well a beautiful fragrance for the daytime in the heat i think it'll really come to life with some heat but the spring is perfect for it as well. Maybe dress it up a little bit. Business casual is probably gonna be great for this. It smells put together and clean, but in a bit of a softer and more delicate way, for sure. Maybe something similar to the MFK, but a different personality. That is Insouciance from Cartier. Up next is a fragrance I'm debating wearing tonight. <laughs> Incredible. Very powerful stuff as well, but Incredibly mouth-watering and incredibly unique. Come from Roger Parfums, we have Sweetie Oud, or Sweetie Oud, or however you want to say it. There's a range of notes that come together. It is a Rose Oud fragrance, and there's other things going on. But what it ultimately smells like to me is a patisserie. It's like warmed, baked, sweet pastries, raspberry or something like that, with a little bit of an oody backbone, but very light. It's very sweet, it's quite dense, it's almost a little bit bready. It is simply incredible. So elegant, definitely something to wear on maybe a more formal night out or just a nice dinner. At night, when it's not too warm, wear some darker colors, it smells delicious. Sweetie Oud. Coming from Argos, the latest, the greatest, That'll be up for you to decide, but I think this is a simply intoxicating fragrance. It does kind of lean more towards the ladies, but guys, if you have the confidence, you can totally pull this off. This is called Palace Athene. First rule of thumb with this, do not spray this on a white shirt. Look at this color. You will regret it, and you can't come for me or for the brand. So only spray this on your skin. This is a fruity floral but with a little bit more going on. You do get these red berries in here, which is a little bit less overtly fruity than something like peach or strawberry or apple or anything like that. It does have a tartness to it with a range of florals like hyacinth and others. Honestly, I can't really pick them out. Maybe some rose as well. You can't really pick them all out. It comes in a very well-balanced bouquet. There's a little bit of a green herbal quality floating around in there that again adds balance to the sweetness and it does have a pretty hearty base with some patchouli and vetiver and sandalwood. There might even be a touch of vanilla in there adding a creamy sweetness, but it mostly smells the way it looks. It is intoxicating, as I said, it leaves this beautiful trail in the air. It is a bold personality. Women and men can pull this off. I genuinely believe that. Again, it might lean feminine, but guys, don't put on too much because, again, this stuff is not shy at all. Wear it in some more elevated clothing. doesn't have to be a full suit, but a full suit would definitely help. And this is going to smell very, very nice to everyone around you. It will turn heads. It might get people asking what it is that you're wearing because there's something special about it. That is Palace Athene from Argos. Up next is the perfect fragrance for vacation, for summertime, for the heat, for women and men. 
My fiance Grace actually loves this fragrance and I love it on her. Another fruity floral, but way more overtly fruity in this case. This is from Mansara and it's called Sicily. It smells like a holiday in a bottle. It smells very bright and uplifting. There's tons of citruses. There's lots of fruits like peach. It's mouth-watering. It's sweet. It's kind of rich, but it's still a little bit fresh. Lots of florals in here. It's juicy. That's the best word I could use to describe it. That is Sicily from Mansara. I would wear this casually during the daytime in the heat. Don't put on too much. Once again, insanely powerful fragrance as most of them are from the house. All right, lastly is one of the most elegant fragrances on this list by far, Honey Fig Saffron. So it's juicy, it's sticky and sweet, but it's a little spicy and leathery, but it does dry down into some like whiskey and some leather perhaps maybe some vanilla in there, and quite a bit of oud as well. It's a beautiful balance of things. This is Nefs from Nishane. So sweetness that's quite succulent and mouthwatering. Definitely have some florals like rose in there, but the base is the balance here. Again, these darker, kind of richer elements like the woods, like the whiskey. It is simply intoxicating and it is so different. I've smelled absolutely nothing like this in my life. It is insanely strong once again, so be careful. This is purely elegant stuff. This is formal wear only. I would dress this up at night when it's not terribly warm outside. I would dress it up in dark colors and good Lord, maybe even like a purple, like a dark purple silk or something. If you have a blazer that really sticks out, there's something just absolutely magical about this fragrance. Captivating stuff. That is Neffs from Nishane. It is not cheap. Get a sample if you can. In fact, all of these, please don't feel obligated to blind buy these fragrances. I will link to some samples if I can down below. The only one I think I have a discount code for would be the Argos. You can use the code FRESH10. Save 10% on your purchase. You can get the discovery set, sample all the fragrances, and decide if Palace of Thing will work for you. But same goes for this. Do not blind buy this. This thing costs over $500 retail. So be warned. Let me know down in the comments if you tried any of these fragrances, if you consider them to be a little bit outside of your comfort zone, but you're still intrigued by them. Let me know about that down in the comments. And at the very least, let me know one fragrance in your collection that maybe you don't always feel the most comfortable wearing. You like it, but you're like, can I pull this off? Or maybe you're just very particular about it because it reminds you of a more feminine profile. Let's talk about it. You can wear whatever you want as long as you do it with confidence, as long as it makes you feel confident if you love the scent of it. And if you're not sure exactly how to wear it, I did a whole video on how to wear more challenging fragrances with confidence. Check that out. There's just a few tips that hopefully might help. But thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.